Today I'm at Tongadale Greenhouse with Jesse, and she is going to teach me how to make a bird feeder wreath. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I love I love to sit inside and watch the birds out my window, especially mm -hmm. during the winter. It's so yeah. just sort of like feels um, I don't know reminds you that spring might be coming mm -hmm. at some point. Kind of so. peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice. Okay. Really. So, what are we doing here today? Well. Uh, for the one time in my life, I got out my KitchenAid mixer just to make mix bird seed. But actually, this is an improved technique because mixing it with a spoon is very arduous. Okay. So we're going to use the mixer with this paddle attachment. It sounds like you use your mixer about as often as I use mine. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is this is a but very good application. Yeah, and they look nice. Yeah. They're so pretty. So we're going to start with two packets of gelatin okay. because we need this to stick together. Okay. So here's your packets. Why don't okay. you do one and I'll do one. All right, gelatin. gelatin. These are all things you can get at the grocery store. I did, um, actually, I stopped at the hardware store to get the bird seed. It was really fun because you can scoop out of the bins and I bought these oh. buckets. That was just so exciting. Bulk bird seed, oh. okay. One cup of water. So two packs of gelatin. One cup of water. One cup water. And then you're gonna whisk it together while I get the next thing ready. So you're going to whisk the gelatin in water. Is this in the way? That's no, it's fine. I got it. It's not exact. Um, then we're going to add a third of cup caro syrup. I was thinking we could use honey, but I think there's a bit of a debate about if honey is safe for birds, just because oh. of all the reasons why, you know, like you're not supposed to give honey babies. to babies and yeah. stuff. So we'll get about a third of a cup of caro syrup, or light corn syrup, excuse me. We don't want to be brand. Should I whisk this together? Yeah, something like that. It's pretty good. So this whole recipe is very sticky, so. Sticky. <laughs> cup and a half of flour. Do you have these measuring cups? These are the all clad measuring cups. It's like a cup and a half already. Oh, already. In one. Cup and oh, half. No, I do not have those. I don't do a lot of baking. Do you do, do, you do, pots and pans. Oh, do you do more baking than I do? Yeah, uh, no. Okay, you can stop whisking now because we're gonna let the mis mixer do its job. Uh-huh. Okay. I got a whisk situation going on here. <laughs> Sorry, I, that wasn't as smooth as I thought it would be. Okay, are we all tight here? Yeah. Okay, lock it down, turn it on slow. All right, I'm gonna do this. Noop, noop, noop. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> now, okay, that looks good. Ooh. Slow it down a tiny bit more. Okay, I'm just going to the one. Yep. Now we're gonna add 64 ounces of pre-measured bird seed. This is a right. fruit and nut mix that appeals to a wide range of birds. Nice. I don't claim to be a birding expert. I like to watch birds, yes. but I really like to garden and this kind of goes with gardening. Yeah. So 64 ounces is two quarts and it's just in this bucket. Eight cups, 64 ounces, two quarts. Okay. Any way you measure it. Two liters or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I pour this in slowly. You might want to slow that down a tiny bit more. Oh, that's, a that's a little, okay. That's perfect. Okay. Pour it in. Well, you can turn it on and pour it in. Yeah. Do all at once, you know, like adding your dry ingredients last. See, this is the sticky part. Okay. So that's why we need the mixer. All right, so that's done. I, I'm already sticky. I know. That's why I made you do this. <laughs> okay, turn it off. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's the recipe. All right, that seems easy enough. So uh, this recipe will make two cupcake tins or one bunt pan. So right here, you press it into uh, like a muffin, muffin tin or tin. whatever. Yep. And I like these heart-shaped ones. I you know. could even string these onto wire or hang them, yes. like hang them in little bits by like jute or something like that. Yes. Okay, but we are going to make the bunt pan. The bunt pan recipe today, which I love. I love the way this looks. This would be great hanging from a tree. Okay. So next. We gotta spray it down. So spray the bun pan so the recipe doesn't stick. Spray your spoons, don't touch that. Okay. Don't. Spray your fingers. Go and touch it. <laughs> other one, give me the other one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, let's fill her up. With our spoons? Yeah. Or okay. whatever. Here, you take greased up your hands. Yeah, take that off. off. Clearly I've not used my mixer. <gasps> Got it. <laughs> All right. 
I think the spoons are more important when you're doing the cupcakes, but you yeah. gotta have some sort of a tool. Yeah. Here, maybe you, maybe you scoop and I'll hold. Yes, okay. Ooh, this looks delicious for the birds. I think it looks delicious for me, <laughs> but I don't think humans are supposed to eat birds either. It is so pretty. This would be a nice gift to bring somebody to. Yeah, totally. And Thank again, you. the kids could easily be involved in this. Oh yeah. And actually my daughter helped me when I was, we were putting one of these together and she loved it. Cause it's like really easy measuring. You don't have to be like, okay, the flower has to be perfect. Right. You know, for a four year old, this is an easy project. We're almost there. <laughs> that was 64 ounces of bird seed. Okay. Great. Okay. So uh, last step is just to press it down firmly. Like we need to pack yep. it in. Yeah. You can tell that this is really dense. It's padded down. So I'm going to reapply. Okay. <laughs> I, I have never put cooking spray on my hands is, before. Do you ever make those cornflake wreaths at Christmas time? I do. And actually it sticks to my hands every time. So who knew? I just, I take the butter and I go like this. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. <clears throat> so how long before this sets up? Um, like overnight. Okay. So leave this in the pan overnight and then yeah. pop it out. I mean, within a few hours, you can yeah. dump it onto like a drying rack yeah. and then it'll dry from both sides. But if you're not like going to check on it every two hours, I just leave it overnight. Yeah. And then it pops out really easy because it's so slippery. Yeah. <laughs> that was such an easy recipe and an excuse to use our stand mixers, which it sounds like we need. Yes. <laughs> um, so I want to show off this adorable wreath you made using the heart shapes because mm -hmm. it's so cute. You just use some wire, tied some ribbon. So find scraps of decorative ribbon and just put this out for the birds. I think it's yeah. so fun. Isn't it darling? It's amazing. Thank you so much for being with us again. You're welcome. Yeah. Don't, don't pick this up. Why? You think it's gonna break? Yeah, I know it's gonna break. It's not gonna break. It's very firm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you're cutting that out, right? Hello? No. <laughs> A banana phone.